Hi, Alicia here. We are in for a great 10 minute workout today. This is gonna be a full body functional workout. And what that means is we're gonna do seven exercises based on the seven functional moves of the body. And it's gonna be awesome because every single part of our body is going to get worked out. So we're gonna start with a quick little warm up. We're gonna start with some arm swings just here at the front. So join in with me now, getting those arms and shoulders warmed up. And now I want you to bring it into what's called toy soldiers. So you're gonna take the opposite hand towards the toes as you lift that leg. And you kind of are doing a bit of a crunch movement here at the front as well. So your core is getting engaged in this lovely little exercise. That's it. Give me two more. And two. And a little jog on the spot. Okay, we're gonna have the timer start. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 10 second rest in between. And seven exercises twice through, starting with a squat. So here we go. Squatting down and up. Making sure you're pulling that belly button in, dropping that butt down, and pushing those heels into the floor as we stand. Good, that's the way. Now, if you have any issues with your knees, one way you can actually get around that is if you have something to hold onto, like a bench that you can rest on, or you can just not come down as far and just do more of a mini squat. And rest. Okay, next of all, we're gonna do reverse lunges. So, it's gonna be taking out one leg at a time at the back. Looks like this, here we go. Out, down, and in. Now this definitely works on our balance. So make sure you're taking it nice and slow. Keep it nice and controlled. You want that back knee to almost touch the ground as you come down. That's the way. Again, if you've got any knee problems, take this exercise out and just make it a march on the spot. And rest, okay. We're coming down to the ground for push-ups now the push workout. Here we go. Dropping that chest down between the hands. Keep going. That's the way. Now, if you can do them on your toes, I want you up on your toes. Great work. Okay, up we come. We've got the pull movement. The pull movement we're doing today is upright row. We can do that without a weight. We're still gonna engage those muscles. So I want you to imagine you've got a bar that you're holding with both hands. You're lifting it up to about your chin and you're squeezing your shoulders and at the back those shoulder blades as well. So pulling up. Now, if you do have anything at home, like a um, pull-up bar that you can attach to the back of a door, pull-ups are a great exercise. So get into that. And rest, excellent. All right, we're gonna come now down to the floor for our seated side taps. This is our bending exercise. So I want you to sit up nice and straight, take these hands, and you're gonna follow your eyes your eyes are gonna follow your hands as you twist side to side, engaging those oblique muscles, those side ab mus muscles. That's it, good. Nice and controlled. Now, if you want a bit of an extra challenge, take those feet off and twist. Good, nearly there. Well done. Okay, up we get we have our bending movement. So we're gonna do a stiff-legged deadlift, which means we're gonna bend from the hips, keeping the knees straight like that. You're gonna feel that stretch up the back of your legs. And again, imagine you're holding a bar here. You want those shoulders to stay back and down and that chest to stay proud. Okay, that's it, good. Keep going, bend and stand. Keeping those legs as straight as possible. 
Okay, oh, I nearly started before our rest. Have a rest, then we're gonna start our sprint. This is gonna be our last one. The seventh functional movement of the body is the gait, which is a run. So it goes like this, here we go. Let's run it out. Ooh. This one will definitely get our heart rates up. But this means we're halfway through at the end of this one. So that's awesome. Good work, keep going. Run it out. Nearly there. And rest, well done. So one set done, one set to go. We're going back to the top to our squats. All right, here we go. Ready and squat. That's it. Right down low, you wanna try and get those thighs to become parallel with the floor. Good, pushing those heels into the ground as you stand. I definitely warmed up by now. Three, two, and done. Good job. We've got our reverse lunges next. So you're gonna step back one at a time keeping that chest upright. Here we go. Just like that. Testing our balance. Want that back knee coming down low, almost letting it touch the floor. Hope you're keeping up. If you're not, that is all right as well. You go at your pace. This is what's great about intervals. It's based on time rather than reps. And done, good job, okay. Down to the floor we go. We've got our push-ups next. On our hands, a little bit wider than the mat. Dropping that chest down between them. That's the way. Try and get that chest as close to the ground as possible. You're gonna feel this in your chest, in your shoulders, in your thighs and tries as well. And push-ups done. Okay, upright rows, here we go. Imagine you've got that bar. We're ready to pull. So as you pull, I want you to squeeze. Squeeze those shoulder muscles, squeeze those shoulder blades at the back. That's the way. Excellent work. It's more important that we're actually squeezing the muscles than it is about the weight that we're, we're holding or not holding. I can feel it in my shoulders. Hope you are too. Three, two, one. Well done, okay. Back to our seated side taps. So sitting down, chest up nice and straight. Take those hands side to side. Twisting. The seven functional moves of the body. Squat lunge, push pull, bend, twist and gait. Gait means run. So we're doing an exercise based on every one of those. Which means we're better fit for everyday functional living. And done, well done. Okay, up we come. We've got our bend movement, which is our stiff-legged deadlift. We're gonna bend forward, keeping those legs nice and straight, as well as our back nice and straight. We don't want any hunched over, <clears throat> excuse me, shoulders. We want that back straight. Shoulders back, chest proud. Doing great. We're nearly there. Keep going. And time, well done. All right, our last exercise. We're gonna finish with that gait, that sprint. Let's try and go as hard and fast as we can for our last 30 seconds. Here we go. All right, jog it out. Use those arms as well. Stay nice and upright. 
good, good. See if you can smile while sprinting. That's it, keep going. Right to the end of this 30 seconds. Nearly there. Three, two, and one. Woo. Well done. There you go. Functional workout done and dusted. Remember, all those exercises are things that we're doing in everyday life. Picking up our kids, putting things on the shelf, all those things. That's why this workout's so great. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.